located west of the Wisconsin River, is Arden, Wisconsin, a small rural town with a population of no more than 500 people and probably one of the prettiest towns in the Midwest. Established in the early 1800s as a farming colony, farming remains the principal economic activity in the area, the town is surrounded by numerous farms that average between 2 to 300 acres. Many of the farms had been there for generations, and some of the farmers could trace their roots all the way back to the first settlers and despite the passage of time the land was fertile and continued, year after year, to yield bountiful harvests. It was a small tight-knit community, and a town where everyone knew everyone else, rarely frequented by strangers, and a town, that was to a very large extent, deeply stooped in tradition. Most of the town's inhabitants were Christians and Sunday church was a must for all of them. It was a time when friends and family members would get together, to exchange news and fill each other in on what's been happening, not that anything really happened out there, and if anything, it was quiet and peaceful. Located a hundred or so miles away from Madison, Arden, Wisconsin, was best described as serene. Luke Goskin, had spent almost all his life in Arden. He was the sole owner of Green Acres, a farm left to him by his father. A tradesman by profession, Luke had fitted comfortably into the role of a farmer. After he'd finished trade school, he slowly started taking over from his aging father, and after his parents, Mark and Beth were gone, he took over the job of running Green Acres, with the help of a couple of farmhands that had come up from the south, and had turned it into a successful business. In time he fell in love, with a young lady, who was also from these parts, Emma, and a couple of years after they'd met, the both of them, with the blessings of Emma's parents, Mark and Beth were gone by then, got married in a traditional ceremony, in the very same church that they attended service every Sunday. Emma was a gifted woman and she was more attuned to her surroundings than most people. She had a natural sixth sense, and could sense the presence of spirits and other entities that were not always visible to the naked eye. The moment she set foot on Green Acres, she knew that the place was filled with positive energy. Its previous owners, Mark and Beth had kept the place going, not only with their hard work but also with their love for the land, and while Beth had crossed over, she knew that Mark's spirit still lingered there, calm and gentle, continuing to fill the land with love, waiting perhaps for the right moment to cross over. A year or so later the couple had a child, a lovely young girl, who they christened Dakota. Dakota was a wonderful child, and she shared her mother's gift. However unlike him she not only felt spirits but she also saw them and at first both Luke and Emma put it down to her having imaginary friends, when one fine day, just after her third birthday, she described one of her friends, and she ended up describing Luke's father Mark to a T. Luke and Emma instantly knew that their daughter was special, and that what she'd been telling them all along was true. Luke unfortunately did not share his wife and daughter's gift, but he did his best to understand. He was a good man, in many ways, and would listen to everything Dakota told him, without ever once doubting her, and as time slipped by it became so common that no one in the household ever gave it a second thought. 